welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is a bonus video. So when you're watching this, it is Tuesday. And I decided just to kind of throw this together because I'm going to be making my meals for our elk hunt that we are going on for the next three days over the weekend. So I thought that I would share with you what I'm going to be making and taking with me. I will try to do a little bit of vlogging throughout the three days that we're out as well too, just little clips see how we're doing, see if we got any elk, uh, and you know, just kind of looking at my meals as far as like traveling. These meals will be good for when you're on the go, whether you're camping or if you're going somewhere that just doesn't have accessibility for a microwave or any way of heating up your food. These are the snacks that I like to take. Now, keep in mind that all of these snacks are going to be, and meals are going to be uh, keto. So we leave here about 5 30 a.m. and we don't get back home until 7 or 8 depending on the day the actually CFB Stuffield is one of the largest training areas in I think it's even Western Canada or Canada in general it is actually a huge huge area and you know depending on where you are at the end of the night it can take two hours to get off of base so we take enough food for us so that it covers like our lunch and dinner um, I only eat two meals a day Jimmy only usually has one big meal with two bigger snacks during the day so we take enough food to last us the whole entire day now you'll probably see a lot of repetitive meals and a repetitive snacks that I'll be taking because I do like my favorites when I'm out hunting, but I did get a couple new items to take with me as well too. So let's get started. I'm gonna be packing my lunch and Jimmy's lunch as well too, so you'll be able to see what Jimmy takes. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for your husband. Jimmy is not on any diet whatsoever. Um, so you will see what I pack for him. So let's get started. So we are gonna start with our sandwiches. So I'm gonna actually take two sandwiches. I'm gonna start with making mine. Um, as you guys would have seen in one of my recent videos, I had made the um, tried and true my bread that I think I found a winner of a recipe. And you would have seen that in Sunday's video. Um, I just got this new, actually I ended up getting this actually from Winners, this container. And I mainly bought it for banana bread because like I would mentioned, I make a lot of banana bread for my family, but it does perfectly fit a loaf of the protein sparing modified fast bread as well. So I'm going to be making actually um, one with the bread and I'm going to be making a folio wrap as well. I love these folio wraps. I get them from Costco and they're so, so good. What I usually do with my folio wraps, um, I usually double them up I know a lot of people um, don't aren't allowed the calories or the macros, but I always like using two. I don't know, they just taste better in my opinion, and um, I just like it better that way, I'll be honest. I'm gonna make mine first. I always use Hellman's mayo, so I'm gonna put mayo on both of these. I cover the whole entire uh, wrap with the mayo. And then if you guys would have seen in one of my videos, I kind of have this little hack that I do to kind of keep it all intact while I eat it. And it works out good. I will show you guys in a second. I usually put mayo on both sides of my bread. And then what I've really been loving right now, like for sandwiches and for my wraps, is like a mixture of meats. So in our wrap, what I do is just from the half down and I cut it just so that it is a part and then it's just easier to assemble once we get all of our meats in there. And then I have some pepperoni and some salami. And then I'll also put some lettuce and I put some shredded cheese on my sandwich. I'll do the same on both. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there we go. That's all of my sandwiches. And that is what I will be taking. And then for the wrap, I just fold it there, fold it again, and then fold it one more time. And it just keeps it like so easy to eat. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna package up these and then we will move on to Jimmy's sandwiches. Now for Jimmy's sandwich, he likes his bread toasted. 
So what we're going to do is we are just going to toast his bread and then make his sandwich. So for Jimmy's sandwich, we just have mayo and he really likes this horseradish mustard as well too and some cheese and ham. So that is what I'm going to be making for him. And I'm just gonna make him one sandwich. Sometimes I'll make him two, but he had said that he just prefers to have one. Sometimes we do tend to snack a little bit more, which is kind of the fun thing when we are out hunting. So I'm just gonna make his sandwich and then we will see what we get together next. All right, so next I am going to be making um, some little yogurt parfaits for us to take. Jimmy's is going to be with the Kirkland probiotic yogurt. I'm gonna be using two of those and mine is going to be the no sugar added yogurt. I believe one of these is like two carbs, I wanna say. It's really, really low in carbs. And then I'm gonna layer it with some blueberries in the middle. And then for mine, I am going to be topping it. Um, there's actually these containers that I got from, these containers that I got from Winners. They have a little compartment that you can unscrew and put your granola in. So I am going to be using my coconut keto clusters. And then for Jimmy's, I just have some granola that I'm going to be putting in the top of his. So these are our snacks that we're gonna be taking. So these are Jimmy's snacks. He always has some sweets. There's jupe jupes in here, wine gums, some chocolate bars, and I usually actually do up like a baggie per day or else he'll eat the whole thing. Uh, I made some nuts and bolts last weekend, so I'm going to pack some of those. And then a granola bar for Jimmy and then he likes these sesame snaps. So two of those, and that is going to be Jimmy's snacks for the day. We always take carnivore crisps as well. We both love them, so we always have those on hand, and also some homemade beef jerky. For me, I am going to be taking some popcorn. This is the white cheddar. Some of these are a little bit higher in carbs. Um, so this one is eight carbs for that. Then I have my little snacks, which is some Russell Stover's. I don't take too, too many with me, but um, I don't usually finish all of these in one day. Neither does Jimmy, to be honest, but we just like to have it on hand. I always have a Built Bar. This is my favorite one. Jimmy actually always has um, a protein bar as well. He likes anything coconut for the Built Bars. This is my chocolate bar that I also take with me. Like I said, normally we don't eat all of our snacks, but we just like to be prepared. This one works out to be like three carbs, I believe, for this chocolate bar. It is the Ross brand. And then this is what I found that was new at the grocery store. It's called a Grab Snack Pack. So this comes with some, um, this one specifically has some salami, some mozzarella cheese, and some crackers. So I thought that would be kind of a good little snack for me. It's a little bit higher in carbs once again. It's six carbs, but still not too, too bad. And like I said, considering that is what we will be eating for the whole entire day, the macros, calories are actually fairly low um, for the day. All right, so Jimmy also takes um, a G2 and we take our electrolytes. We have our Relight electrolytes that we take with us every day. We actually take the containers with us um, and we drink that throughout the day. We have a case of water that is in the truck, so that will be all of our fluids for the day. And that is it. So I think lunch is all packed for tomorrow. We have all of our clothes and everything that we will need for tomorrow. And yeah, we're really, really excited so i will keep you guys posted on if we get anything and yeah you definitely will be the first to know um so we did three days of elk hunting and i just wanted to insert little clips they're literally only a minute or two long for each day i did record them off of my cell phone um so i will insert those clips now all right we are in the lineup to register for the elk hunt and it's quite a lineup. There's probably, I don't know, like 
100, no, 50 trucks ahead of us, maybe, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. So we have to wait. Um, Check-in starts right now, but we were here about 10 minutes ago, and we have to register because it is an elk reduction hunt on a military base. Um, there's a lot of process, paperwork, etc., searching that we have to go through. So, And then we need to listen to the briefing, um, which is, I heard, like an hour long. We listened to it on the radio um, because of COVID. Um, they are doing that this year, which... I don't know, we'll kind of be actually kind of nice instead of everybody. They usually help hold it in the gym, which is here, but it's going to be better, I think, this way anyways. So I have my coffee. That is what I'm working on slowly because I heard that it is kind of a long process. Jimmy, you're good? I'm good to go. Good to go. We're pretty excited, actually. Today is day one, and uh, we will definitely keep you guys posted on any sort of news that is happening. If we get anything... Um, we'll see as much as we can record. We will. We're not allowed to take um, pictures like with the elk, um, like hunting. Not that I would put it on YouTube, but there's a lot of rules and regulations because we are on a military base doing this elk reduction hunt. But I will see you guys probably later on in the morning. Just wanted to give you an inside look here at 6 a.m. on day one. Peace out. Day two of the elk hunt we are in the lineup we actually got here earlier today i didn't record anything else yesterday because we have seen no elk we haven't even seen one so um there is how many hunters jimmy you said there was roughly 160 years. right 160 hunters and i think there was like 90 vehicles and um normally on an average hunt oh all right third take doing this <laughs> we are out day two i never did get to record much yesterday because we did not see anything at all and it's illegal yes and it is illegal to um take pictures or record well on the base anyways but i mean just at the end of the day when we got home so we are out going um on day two and we don't really have a different plan than what we kind of originally started with. Um, there wasn't many elk that were taken yesterday. There was only seven, which is actually quite low. Normally, even on a first day, there can be like over a hundred elk that is taken. So the numbers are really low. So hopefully we will get something today. We will keep you guys posted um, and go from there. Good morning from day three elk hunt. <laughs> Uh, but good news, I ended up getting uh, elk yesterday, so one down, three more to go. Today is the last day, and both Jimmy and I are tired today. We wanted to sleep in, but you know what? The last week is always the hardest for hunting, period, because we still have another weekend of uh, deer hunting as well. But glad we got one. One of the friends that we are hunting with um, got one as well, so that's great news. So it was a successful day yesterday. We actually seen lots of elk all day long. Um, we pretty much were on our herd for most of the day, actually, from first thing the morning in the morning when he got on, and until probably like two o'clock. So it was a, it was a good day, definitely. So we are going back out today, and hopefully, you know, even if we get one or two more today, that would be great. One would even be good, Jimmy says. Definitely, I agree. Um, what else, Jimmy? Yeah, we're not tagging three more. <laughs> we're tired. It's no, a lot. It's just. It's a lot. There's only so much meat that we can eat. So. Yeah, and there's honestly so much room that we have in the workshop because, like I had mentioned, an elk we do have to quarter before we can hang it, and we have about like 20 hooks, so. But yeah, there is only so much meat that we can eat. We get enough for ourselves for the year. We usually give some to our kids that aren't living at home, a few packages, um, but there's still so much that you can only eat. Um, yeah, so we're working on our energy drinks this morning, actually. I have, I had a coffee this morning. I'm having a bang. I feel like I just need the extra caffeine. Our snacks and our sandwiches have been pretty much the same all three days. I know at the very beginning of this, I would have shown me making a lunch for hunting, 
and we have kept that the same for all three days. We've just kind of replaced what we haven't or what we had eaten, um, which has pretty much just been like the sandwiches and a couple snacks. And candy. Yeah, Jimmy has his candy, so that's been all good. Um, what else, Jimmy? I think that's it for the updates. Even though there's a lot going on, there isn't a lot going on. <laughs> uh, it's just a busy, busy time. It's busy from the moment that we get up. We leave the house at um, 20 after 5. Uh, right now it's 8 o'clock. We're just driving to our entry for the base. We've gone through the briefing. Um, and we usually get there, um, well, lately it's about, about 8.30, 9 o'clock. The first day it was later just because it's kind of a schmozzle to get things going. Uh, and then we aren't back home until usually after 6 o'clock, 6.30ish. So it's a long day, but it's a, it's a busy day. The only one day I think that we ate a lot was probably the first day when we didn't see elk. <laughs> we always seem to eat more when we don't see anything. Um, because like I said, yesterday especially was very, very busy. So I will keep you guys posted. Um, I will definitely do, um, I will do like an ending segment to this um, vlog style video that I'm doing that I thought would just be kind of like a bonus video. Um, and I will close out the video probably tonight because I think this video is going to go live tomorrow, which is on Tuesday. So, uh, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted and we will see you guys in the next clip. So I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. It kind of gave you an insight to our hunting life and how our November usually goes. Um, so we are very grateful that we ended up getting one elk. We are so thrilled about that. Um, with the meat that we have right now, it'll probably be enough for our family for the year. Um, we have four grown children. Three of those live out of the house. So usually we do give um, some for their families as well too um, but it definitely goes to use and that is the reason why we hunt we hunt so that it can provide food for our family we don't buy beef we love to have either um, elk or deer meat for the whole entire year so thank you so much for joining me for this bonus video Jimmy and I are absolutely exhausted. We both have to go to work tomorrow, but that is when this video will be going live. We'll be on Tuesday. So please give me a thumbs up for this video and uh, let me know that you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and make sure that you hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.